Hi everyone, I want to show you another way to uh, copy your artboard with everything on it as a backup. Um, I was working in another version of Illustrator today and the method I showed you in the previous video doesn't necessarily work in an older version of Illustrator. So I just, since I don't know what version you have, I wanted to show you another way of doing it. So inside your toolbar, come down here and click on the artboard tool, which is right above your magnifying glass. When you click that, it should select your artboard and everything on it. So now in order to copy this, if you don't have the option available underneath edit and copy, for whatever reason the version I was working in didn't, there is there is a backup. So with that, uh, with your artboard tool selected, if you notice whenever my cursor is going to change, whenever I hold down the alt key, notice how it goes from that uh, crosshair to a uh, black arrow sitting on top of a white arrow. That double arrow means duplicate. And so by holding down the alt key and clicking and dragging, it will make a copy of the artboard and everything on it. Let's do that again. I'm going to select the artboard tool. I'm going to hold down the alt key while I click and drag. And again, it brings the artboard and everything on it because we use the artboard tool. Now, just so you know, that same technique can be used on any object um, that you want. So for example, if I have my move tool selected or my selection tool, all I got to do is with the object selected, hold down the alt key. Again, notice the cursor changes and I can click and drag a copy of that object. And if I need to click and drag it on a straight line, select your object, hold down the alt key while you click and drag. And then to keep it straight, guess what key you're also going to press? The shift key. Okay, that'll constrain its movement. So just a real quick lesson on how you can duplicate an object just in case the other way doesn't work.